Do you want to pay less in taxes? That's a pretty dumb question. Who doesn't? Well, let's talk about drastically reducing your tax bill or even eliminating it through buying and owning real estate by doing a cost segregation study. It's something that the wealthy and big business developers have been doing for years. But first, real quick, my name's Jeff Chubb and I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent and I've sold more than a thousand properties. We get calls, texts, and emails from folks just like you who are looking to buy or sell an investment property in Massachusetts. And I absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to make a real estate investment in the next nine or 90 days, it doesn't matter. Give us a call, shoot us a text, email, or stop by youtuberealestateagent.com, fill in your information, and then we'll reach out to you. Let's just remind everyone that I'm not a CPA. I'm just a real estate expert that have seen many friends and clients take advantage of this monumental opportunity. I recommend that you consult with your own accountant and advisor to ensure that you're able to utilize this additional depreciation on a time frame that works for you. So what is a cost segregation? It is a tax deferral strategy that front loads depreciation deductions in the early years of facility ownership, segregating the cost components of your building into the proper asset classifications and recovering periods could result in significantly shorter tax lives of five, seven, and 15 year spans instead of the standard 27 and a half or 39 year depreciation period. Think about it. Does it really make sense to depreciate a water heater over 27 and a half years when it will most likely only last 10 years? Deferring taxes with these strategies could help put cash back into your business or help utilize that savings to purchase another investment property. Ultimately, cost segregation can give you the financial relief that you need to make it possible for you to invest in or build your real estate portfolio. So cost segregation is a way for real estate investors to more quickly deduct the depreciation of a property, anything from a single family home to an office building or retail storefront. Okay, so how does cost segregation work? In order to utilize this tax planning tool, you'll first have to pay for a cost segregation study. Now this study will show you how to maximize the tax deductions from your investment property. The firm will first complete a feasibility analysis on the property. They're going to analyze the investment property to make sure it's a good candidate for cost segregation. And by doing this, the team will study the different components of your investment property, including its plumbing fixtures, roofing, electrical systems, sidewalks, driveway, flooring, and other materials used for the build. Why do they do this? It's because if you bought these items separately, you'd be allowed under the IRS tax code to depreciate them over 5 or 15 years. But because they were already part of the building that you purchased, you're only allowed to depreciate them over 27 and a half years for a residential building or 39 years for a commercial building. During the study, the team of engineering and financial experts will separate each part of the investment property and place them in separate categories. You're then able to benefit from an accelerated depreciation timeline for some of the features in the building. Now, the second step is gathering all necessary information for the team to fulfill the study. Now, this could include documents like the recent appraisal, inspection reports, or even the closing documents from when you purchase the property. And step three is the team analyzing the property. They're going to identify any operating costs that can be depreciated over either five, seven, or 15 years. This is the reason why step two in providing the necessary documents is so important. The fourth step is the team preparing a report that you and your accountants can actually use to determine how much you can save on your income taxes by utilizing the cost segregation strategy. It's important to note that cost segregation isn't available on your primary residence. You can utilize cost segregation or residential real estate, but only for residential properties that you own as an investment, not properties that you live in as a full-time residence. So here's an example of a three-family property in East Boston. It's not an actual report. It's an estimate to show how much you could possibly save and to help someone see why it could be a good idea to move forward with an analysis. Now, the purchase price is $1.8 million, with the land allocation set at $568,973. It's important to note that, yes, this one is $1.8 million. It could be a $500,000 property, a $300,000 property. It doesn't matter the size of the investment. All right, back to this property. So the purchase price of $1.8 million, the land segregation cost at $568,973, and this leaves an adjusted basis for the study at $1,231,027. And this makes sense, right? Because you can't depreciate the land. We need to separate the building value from the land. And that's what we just did there. 
If an owner was to depreciate the property over the 27 and a half years utilizing the straight line depreciation method, then they'd be able to write off $44,764 per year. That's a pretty easy calculation, right? It's the 1.231 million divided by the 27 and a half years. Assuming a 37% tax rate, then that's a savings of about $15,680 per year. That's not bad, but check out what the projections with a cost segregation analysis can do. As a conservative estimate, they see the owner being able to expense $189,476. This means that the tax benefit on year one would be $68,034. Their optimistic analysis has them finding $280,929 worth of depreciation, which means the tax savings in year one could be $103,943. So essentially doing it this way, you could increase your tax basis on the current year by taxes by $52,354 to $88,263. That's 50 to 90 grand of your money in your pocket, not a write-off. Now, let's talk about some of the disadvantages though. There is a cost to doing this. Think in the ballpark of two to $4,000. So that, that's disadvantage number one. The second disadvantage is that the U.S. tax code recaptures depreciation when the property is sold. You would never want to do this on a property that you're planning on selling in a couple of years. You just end up having a big tax bill the year you sell it. In other words, this tax strategy should be only utilized on property that you plan on holding for quite some time. To confuse the situation more and to take this negative and wrap it into a positive is if the property is sold by your heirs after your passing, then they'd not need to pay back this recapture as the property would go through a cost basis analysis. This is in today's current tax code in an area where we're really starting to blur the lines and get lost in the weeds of a full financial strategy in a play to lower your tax liability while you're living, but also when you're dead. And the third disadvantage is that there are some costly penalties of overusing cost segregation. From experience, I can tell you how unfun the IRS is negotiate with when it comes to an audit. It is at the full discretion of the IRS auditor that you are working with. So make sure the company that you hire is reputable and will stand behind their work. You want to make sure the company has a team that's ready to support you and their study through legal hearings with expert testimony. And that is ultimately covered under a warranty at no additional cost to you. Again, my name is Jeff Chubb with the Chubb Home Safe. I hope you found this video helpful. This helped you learn a little about the tax advantages of investment real estate. Whether you're interested in buying an investment property in Massachusetts or anywhere else in the country, then it would be a true pleasure to help you. Yes, I personally can only help people in Massachusetts, but I do have expert agents that I work with all over the country. And it would be a true pleasure to make an introduction for you. And at no cost to you, obviously. I personally love real estate. It's the best way to build generational wealth and financial security for you and your family. If you have questions, then give us a call. Shoot us an email or visit us at youtuberealestateagent.com. And you can also find my information in the description below. Oh, and just one more time, I am not a CPA. Make sure that you talk with your accountant to see if this investment strategy is something that would work for you. Until next time.